Many kids are already on summer vacation and looking to head outdoors for some fun. It's important to enjoy these carefree days, but health experts want parents to remember to keep their kids safe. New Center Maine's Alex Haskell spoke with some of those health experts to get their advice on keeping kids safe and healthy this summer. Well, the Northern Light Surgery and Trauma Team in Bangor has developed a list of helpful tips to keep kids of all ages safe this summer. I spoke with Trauma Nurse Coordinator Anna Moses about keeping kids safe. We wait all year for summer vacation so we can get outside and have fun. But with summer fun from jumping into grandma's pool to heading up to camp, as we say, comes dangers if unprepared. One child getting injured in a preventable incident um, is one too many. That's why Moses and the team at Northern Light Surgery and Trauma developed this list of helpful tips on how parents can keep their children safe. A lot of times we don't think of injury prevention as being safe with our sunscreen and preventing bug bites and bug borne illnesses. But that's all part of being outside and having fun, she says. In part, her list advises adults and kids to use insect repellent containing DEET, which is best at preventing insect related disease but it's not recommended for children under two months of age. Children younger than 16 years old should not be allowed to use ride-on mowers, and everyone should wear a helmet on every bike ride, no matter how short or how close to home. Sometimes we see children and adolescents that do not have helmets on, and they can have a more significant um, brain injury. Pool safety is another concern of health experts. The CDC says three children die every day as a result of drowning. We see in the movies that drowning is loud and we're going to know, but it's actually very silent. This is why Northern Light nurse practitioner Kirsten Noyes wants parents to always have eyes on young children in the water and don't forget their sunscreen, a relatable struggle Noyes knows all too well. When they were younger, we I would chase them around with the sunscreen. It's very hard. It's very hard to keep them reapplying every two hours. Over at Broadway Park in Bangor, Sarah Michalowski is enjoying a safe summer day with her two kids. We kind of do the traditional um, sunscreen, bug spray. I do hats, sunglasses. She comes prepared for the occasional injury. We get blisters sometimes. Like yesterday, we got one at the city forest with my daughter with a pair of sandals. So um, that's where the first aid kit in the car comes in handy. Now, the CDC says injuries are the leading cause of death in children aged 19 and younger. Injuries like burns, drownings, and falls. You can go to the Child Safety and Injury Prevention tab on the CDC website for a list of child injury prevention topics. In studio, Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine.